our nature, our ultimate nature, the absolute reality is not less or better than Buddha, and it is equal to Buddha Shakyamuni. Okay, it is equal to Buddha Amitabha. It is Buddha, you know, equal to Buddha Kalachakra, and so on and so forth. But for us, that's very difficult to believe. Very difficult to believe. That's one problem. The other problem, our temporary, this form, this person, this society, this culture, this habitual, this habitual patterns, everything is very, very samsaric and based on self cherishing and billions, billions, trillions, trillions, eons uh, uh, habituated. And almost nothing really good, good there, almost nothing really there temporarily, but we don't believe that. Again, we don't believe. I think we not really, we don't believe that. Why? Why we don't believe? Because, because the, the sense of self and the sense of the ego is nature is very defensive, very defensive. Don't want show the true color. And then the society formed that way. Not you alone. Everybody formed that way. That means nobody encouraging you go through the rubbish and say, oh, I have all this rubbish, please take it. Nobody preparing that. It is very reasonable nobody preparing that because we have, firstly, I said, billions, billions habituation. And currently, our society completely against this. And every day have to have forced speech with you every day, everybody, how you are wonderful, how you are Amazon. Huh? How everybody imagine. <laughs> and if you say something opposite, you not imagine, you not very good, and you get trouble. So for us, really, really, really small chance to see the temporary deception. And and we completely operate that level, so there's no way you can see the ultimate nature perfect at all. Why? Because we are just completely, uh, what do you call, in it, this, you know, this life, this completely take over our life, so, you know, you, everybody have enlightened nature, all these things becomes like, just like a fairy tale, fairy tale, even less than fairy tale. Why? Why less than fairy tale? Because where we are, you know, the op completely opposition, these things, take over, completely take over ourself. That's why. So that's the two problem. We should believe we have a perfect enlightened nature and we don't. We don't believe, that's why we have 
course, have low self-esteem and lack of confidence, everything. So when we have this, then of course, very hard to see our current, the temporary samsaric problem. You don't want to see it. Even if you glimpse the seat, you don't want to follow. And rather you want to cover as much as possible. And you blame others as much as possible. Because that is your release. That's the only way your, your release. The only way, the only way we understand our true nature is perfect is if we did even a tiny of this, you know, like accepting the current, the deception, the current, you know, uh, this, accepting this and try to work on this little bit, that's the only way you see. You know, that's the only way you see the true nature. Because true nature is not describable, is, is, is not explainable, it is experiential, completely experiential. But the experiential is have to come have to come from this work. You know, this current problem, accepting this current problem, you know, only come from there. Accepting the current problem and try to work on only have to come from that. And then you, even you had glimpses of very little on true nature, experience nature, you know, even kind of close, not really true nature, but just kind of close. And then that's, that takes you, you know, million, uh, how do you call it, million miles, you know, toward truth your destiny, your journey, you know. But we never give a chance. We don't have a chance. We, we decide, don't believe. Decide, don't believe. And our current, this full of problem, this full of, you know, like failure, We believe very much and we trust incredibly and we follow. <laughs> I think that's the really, pro it's very strange, you know, like why, why you want to choose the bad one, you know, like if we have minimum perception, our true nature is true reality, the ultimate nature is perfect, absolutely perfect, completely faultless. You have a base, you know, like if you understand that true nature is perfect, so you have a base on a work on. And that means that you have chance to see our current problem and and we have encouraged you to work on. But when we don't have this at all, and we completely take over by this temporary problem, and then we have no chance.